Oh, hi, I'm Andrew Shaw from Campus Loop. You know, a lot of times when I'm walking down the street, people come up to me and say, Hey, I saw your show, you know it really sucks? But a lot of times people come up with some constructive criticism too. You know, they come up and say, Hey, I've seen your show, you know it really sucks? Have you ever thought of doing a live episode? And you know, I thought about it and, uh... Screw you, okay? You think this is easy? You think you can be funny, huh? Why don't you come up here? Why don't you give it a shot? You know we're at the station? What? Settle down. I don't smoke. I don't care. Okay, hi, I'm Todd from the Campus Loop. What Andrew's trying to say is a lot of people come up to us all the time and they say, uh, you know, we really love the show. It's one of our favorite shows, that and VIP, and we think it's just really great. Have you, have you, you know, your little group, condescending, have you ever thought your little group could do some live improv? I thought it was a dare. Uh, so we're live here on the fourth floor of the TSP tonight from the University of Texas, and Campus Loop is going to do some live improv for you. We've got the whole cast here. We've got a live studio audience. <laughs> and we're going to do some live improv. So uh, the first game we have is called Situations. So uh, let's get Matt and Reno. Go, Reno! <laughs> okay, uh, so what I need from the studio audience is two, like, Characters, like types of people. Policeman. A fire maker. No, a rabbi. A rabbi. Okay, a policeman and a rabbi. Matt, you be the policeman. Rainy, you be the rabbi. And where are they? The, the moon. The water yeah, moon. The water moon. moon. All right, the moon. Okay, a policeman and a rabbi on the moon. Okay, that was Rain and Matt in a little game we call Situations. Okay, and the next game we've got up is a game we call Props. Does anybody in the studio audience have some props? Okay, we got some toilet paper and a, a sock and a, a 13th century mace. Okay, uh, let's get everyone out here. Okay, um, um, okay, um, I'll go first. Um, a mace. Bad, 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 bad boys. <laughs> You make me feel so good. You know you make me feel so good. Hey, look, I'm in a parade. Hello, hello. <laughs> suck it to me. <laughs> one more time. Suck it to me. <laughs> hey, guys, check this one out. Check this out, OK? I'm a, I'm a mummy. I'm a mummy, get it? I'm an Egyptian postman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's mummy dearest, get it? Mummy dearest. <laughs> Hey, look, I'm really sorry about this. I didn't realize that we couldn't handle the pressure of live television and that we don't really have that much talent. Um, the show is actually ghostwritten, and um, I didn't realize we wouldn't be able to handle this, and I'm really sorry. So um, I'm going to give you a couple bucks and just erase this tape and pretend this thing never happened, OK? And I would really appreciate it if you do that for me. Uh, Todd, the, the show is live. you 300 and then you can give me the carpet. Oh hey, Todd Berger here from the Campus Loop. What we're going to do now in the Campus Loop is we realize that a lot of you are new viewers to the show and you're not really accustomed to uh, the cast or the settings or anything. So what we're going to do now is give you a little tour of KBR TV where we do the show day in and day out. We're going to introduce you to some of the people. We've got Kelly behind the camera. Uh, we got Stacy over here on sound. So um, if the sound messes up at all, it's her fault. Okay, so first we're going to start by going into the studio. We film a lot of skits here in the studio. Just watch yourself. Um, we do a lot of like the indoor skits. Um, oh look, over here we have one of our cast members. One of okay, this is Matt Cameron, everybody. Uh, Matt, um, what are you doing? Looking at my shoe collection. I only could get one because the other one got away. The little boy, he wouldn't stop. 
No, I don't see how good All right, is. Matt is part of the show because at KBR TV we have an outreach yes, program. Um, back here we have uh, George Porter. Yeah. I need to get a summary in New York Harbor. To oh, sorry, I'm so George, hey, from. we're introducing people at home oh. to the Campus Loopers. Uh, who are you Hello. talking to? Um, nobody. Okay. Look, $300 million is my last offer. Look, you're going to have to go to... Right, so that's George to Porter. He's on the show. He's really funny. Or but let's boss. keep moving because we don't want to disturb him whatever. What am I going to say? Um, anyway, so we do film a lot of things here in the studio. This is like um, the engineering equipment. This is, I don't know. I don't understand yes. anything. But that's the equipment room. We leave it unlocked. Uh, if you're ever interested in taking anything, it's usually unlocked during the day. Uh, these are our um, lockers. We keep some um, important items in there. Uh, this is a hallway. Nothing really interesting to see here. I'm actually just killing time. So we get down here. This is the big board that we use dry erase markers to write on. And in here is master control. Um, this is where we broadcast the signal of the show. And this is where we like do some editing and we do some shows from in here. And Oh look, over here we've got Mike Horn, my co-producer, hey, and Alison Vanderwall. She's on the show. How are you? What are you guys up to? Hi. Well, I was just sitting here thinking of some sketch. Oh, um, before I forget, did you get those tapes? Jesus you can't do anything yourself, can well, you? I, just asked I you. have to get the tapes. I have to do everything. You and you're just sitting there like, oh, I'm, I have to well, I'm sorry, the tapes. I didn't know. I'm, you should get the tapes yourself because I'm fucking tired of it. Well, no, I'm so I, tired. I, I mean, I'm shut, sorry, up. Shut, right, okay. shut up. Just shut up. Okay, um, shut up. Okay. Shut up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. Do you not like the wig or something? All right. Um, I don't know what that's about, but we're, we're going to get out of there. And we're going to go next door here. Raina. Hey, this is Raina James. She's on the show. What did I tell you about not interrupting to me when I was doing a spell? Okay, uh, over here we have... Uh, Pajama, I'm telling you, I've got the money. Andrew, Andrew. What, what, what? What are you doing? Oh, well, I'm practicing for this play of Medea I'm putting on with some friends. And I'm also working on this new line of uh, Star Wars talking toys. So that was the job of the Hunt impersonation I've been working on. Right. All right, yeah. let's move on. Because he's not very interesting. <laughs> okay. Raina, um, get help. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. These are more of like the um, offices, uh, for instance. Oh, we're always finding just various people around the KVR TV studios. For instance, this is Dano. Uh, he hosts Sneak Peek uh, 2000 and another show here on KVR TV. Dano, how's it going? Uh, real good, Todd. Real good. Yeah, Dano, what you looking at? Um, the, okay, nothing. Dano's looking at porn no. on the internet. It's it's amazing what you can do with computers. Like, I can Dano. Take, I can take this picture of you and take all your clothes off, Todd. Dano, that's huh? me naked. All right, I'm okay. telling you, it's no, it's okay. amazing okay. what you okay. can okay. do. All right, okay, and this is where our station manager, those our station are, manager, no, those are his not office. Bad. Okay, those are, come on, this is like the eighth time. I'd like to introduce you to our station manager. This is uh, Gozar. Gozar, say hi to the people at home. Hello. Um, uh, oh, and Steven, Steven Silver, also in Sneak Peek uh, 2000. Hey, I'm goes our scam. Uh, I, we're trying to get work done here, and he keeps going to the Girls Gone Wild website. And oh, goes, like, come on, we don't need to be true. doing this. Hey, uh, Steve, I, I fixed that uh, impotent spell. Oh, okay, thank you. I've been working I was worried about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so that pretty much, uh, why don't you goes just come out no, here? we don't need to go. Uh, oh. Mm. Okay, so that pretty much ends our tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, please watch the Campus Loop every week, because... We need to do something with our lives, and this is certainly something. Had enough, Todd. Those are no.
Más aventuras de Pablo, el niño de KBR TV. Para más aventuras de Pablo, mira KBR TV. Nothing to eat. I'm so hungry. Let's go out to eat. Where are we gonna go? Come to Cartes! We never close! But it's three in the afternoon. Every place is open. Yes, but we're always open. We never close. Ever. Aren't your corned beef sandwiches like nine dollars or something? We never close! Look, every place is open. You're expensive and you're a stranger in my pantry. But we never close! Please! 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 Uh, please. Cartes never closes! Ah! Hi, welcome back to the Campus Loop All Request Weekend from the Beach House. Uh, that was a funny skit we just had right there. And uh, just want to let everybody know that next month on October 9th is the Campus Loop Video Awards. A bunch of people are going to be there like Madonna, Jewel, the Backstreet Boys, in sync for all you girls that are, ah, love the Backstreet Boys. Um, and now we have uh, everyone's favorite skit. We've been counting down all the skits that everybody loves for the whole weekend. Now we're down to number one, and it's the ice tea skit. So I hope everybody enjoys this. I know you all love it. So roll it. In the classroom of life, what lesson do you believe we must continuously try to master day after day? That's a really good question. It is a good question. But first, I just want to say, this is some damn fine iced it tea. It is. This is great iced tea, man. I love this. This may be the best iced tea I've ever had. Primo top Bravo. tea. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a really good Back one. to your question, though. Yeah. I don't know. I think responsibility is a good question. Yeah, that we should. <clears throat> that's a good one. What about, uh... oh, thanks, buddy. What about self-control? What's up? My name's Bobby. I'm from San Diego, and I just want to say I requested the iced tea sketch because I think it's hilarious when Todd gets that crap dumped on his head. And I want to say what's up to all my ravers out there. Plural, y'all. Peace, love, unity, respect. Keep it real. You have a guy to pour your iced tea? Well, yeah, I'm not going to pour the iced tea myself. What do you think? I'm from the sticks or something? Oh. All right. Uh, anyway, yeah, self-control. Um, mm -hmm. That's a good one. Morality. Matthew McConaughey once said, one day at a time, big picture in mind. And I think we could all learn something from that. Have you seen the Newton boys? I have actually. Yo, 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 I want to throw my props out to my sister Sarah. Yeah, all three of you. Yeah, yeah, Peace. Right. Love ya. Yeah, and well. anyways, yeah, I want to request the, uh, the iced tea bit. You know oh, why? Because I hate waiters. I hate okay. the way they always come around and fill up your drinks. Sure I also hate Todd. Guy. You know, I've always wanted to beat him. And you know, I've been told I look like Andrew, so this is as close as I'm going to be to beating that little like bitch. So roll it, man. Yeah. More iced tea unsweetened into my already sweetened You could probably just add more. Like. Yeah, but it would be easier if you would just let me drink more. Adapt. Todd, he's doing his job. I don't pay him. He comes in whatever, here whatever. for the love of the iced tea and works for three hours solid. Whatever, iced whatever. tea For no money. No money. But I didn't think Newton You're doing was a good job, buddy. Thanks. Okay, did you see? I mean, uh, what? What? Does he really need to feel every time I take a Yo, what up? This is Tony out of Brooklyn. I just want to request that iced tea skit. I think it's really funny. Yo, that got Mike. He's real funny, yo. Yo, I just want to give props. I want to give some shout out to Kid Rock. Yo, keep on rocking. Shout out to Corn, Limp Biscuit. Yo, Campus Loop, y'all need some more Limp Biscuit on that show, man. Get out of whack. Are you saying you got a problem with it pouring my my iced tea? No. Are you, are you complaining about? The, I requested this skit because I like to drink iced tea, no, I and I just you know I like drinking iced tea, and I've always I've always had that dream about you know some guy just coming in and delivering iced tea to me all the time, just drinks all the time every day, just the, the glass never seems to empty, you know. Look, can we stop this? I have such a hangover. <laughs> I think confidence, I think confidence is going to be good. Welcome back to the program. Uh, before the uh, before the break, we were talking a little bit about the new quarter percent interest rate hike from the Fed, and I think you had something really important to say about that. I did. Um, I think it's important for America to remember now that Alan Greenspan cannot hold the nation hostage. He cannot control our our consumerist spending. Ten, uh, tendencies. I, the, the man currently is acting as a tyrant, and we must not allow to but do this. But you've got to remember, interest rates are the lowest they've been in 20 years. How can you account for well, that? Well, no, that's true, but I think what you also need to look at is that most analysts, including myself, see a lot of similarities between the current economic state 
1929, which of course we all have, we all know the uh, depression followed right after. We need to be alert and aware of that situation so it does not repeat itself but 70 years later. You see, on. there's a difference though, because today we've got the ICP. That's true. The, inclin the insane clown policy has just joined WCW wrestling. And I think that's going to rock the economic world. Definitely, I think that it'll. I don't think analysts are, are treating this with the kind of reverence they should with the ICP. Not at all. Not at all. And I think the reason for that is that, of course, uh, the ICP, the insane clown policy, there are two of them. Um, so I think they're viable contenders for both the tag team title and then will catapult themselves to a higher level and take on the reigning champion, Alan Greenspan. And Alan, I'd like to say right now, be wary of these men because they're coming for you. They will kick your ass. Now, but, you see, the only concern that might stop them down is is the uh, the crime rate. Well, this is the lowest it's been in 50 years. That's true because, as we both know, the ICP are in the killing business. And business is bad, quite frankly. But, you see, that's why it's a good time to invest. Exactly. Because exactly. They have the 187 skills. Mad They've 187 always had skills. the 187 exactly. skills. So we know that they can deliver. They mm -hmm. just need the opportunity. And the opportunity, I think, I think, think is there. For, I think this will be good for long-term growth. Definitely. Why, Definitely. why don't we take a telephone call? Oh, okay. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, am I on the air? That's right. Yeah, I think that uh, Alan, the Million Dollar Man Greenspan, he's just gonna, he's gonna rock the ICP. I mean, can you not forget the Monday Nitro last week? I mean, he rocked Goldberg like the man just did not, hey, the gold was coming out of his nose, Absolutely you know? not. I think what you're forgetting is that the ICP, Goldberg is just one man and Goldberg is, uh, quite frankly, a poser and very weak. The ICP are the real deal. And you better watch out because they'll rock your world. Absolutely. Uh, predictions for five years. Five years, I say the tag team belt in the next six months. In the next 18 months, Alan Greenspan gets overthrown as the heavyweight champion. Well, that was our program. Thank you for tuning in. My guest has been John... Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And now, Stupid Ass Rebellion Boy. So the scandalous presidency of Warren G. Harding was probably one of the darkest spots of uh, the entire century uh, for the bureaucracy uh, in American history. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, yes, you. Listen, I'm tired of listening to the, the man's rules, okay? I'm tired of listening to UT dictate everything about my life. I'm tired, I'm tired of all of this. What if I don't want to buy your books? I, I don't think you have to. I think that uh, the prices of books are outrageous, and in fact, I keep all the required textbooks on reserve in the UGL. Oh. Well, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna eat this while you're talking. That's fine. I brought a sandwich and chips with me, and when you guys take the quiz in 15 minutes, I'm gonna sit and eat my lunch. Oh. Well, well maybe if I leave early, like after the quiz! That's fine, if you want to, you can do that. And in fact, you don't even need to come to class if you don't want to. Well, I'm gonna pray. No!
really, really glad that you decided to take some interest in KVR TV. Let me tell you about the shows. We've got um, VJ shows, we have sports shows, we have a comedy sketch show called The Campus Lube. Um, our viewership is growing constantly. Um, and in fact, uh, we're broadcasting to all of... I have my own TV show. I'm seen all over the city, all over the country. How do you feel about that, babe? You impressed? No, it's tough, but somebody's got to do it. Nothing. Fractions, man. Fractions. They're all around you, man. All like the TV waves and everything, man. The radiation, the pollution, man. It's all around you, man. It's only love and hate, man. You have to accept it. You have to deny Our it. Our viewership it. is growing rapidly, as I said. Um, and in fact, one of uh, the things that we're doing, I'm very excited about that I started. It's a mud wrestling slash coven. Um, we're looking for our 13th member. So if you're interested, give me your. See name. and. You know, a lot of people say things like, you're so damn smooth, and all the ladies love you. It's true. You should come to my place and make a great Pop-Tart. Give me some sugar, babe. You know, it's, it's, about, it's about the facade, man. It's about, like, the construction of the pollution, man. It's, like, all around you. You know what I... Do you? Do you know what I mean, man? God. With the love and the hate and the TV waves, pollution. Huh? Can you feel it, man? Do you... Oh, Mike. Mike, this skit is going to be so funny. It's two valley girls talking about their intro to philosophy class. That's great, man. It's pure gold, baby. Okay, so we were talking about all sorts of weird stuff in my class. We were talking about this guy, Nuchu, or Nietzsche, or Fig Newton guy, or whatever his name was. Okay, cut, cut. Okay, Allison, what are you doing? Coming. Mm. Okay, okay, I know, like, you're not talking, but this is a two-shot, so we can see what you're doing. So it would help if you stayed in character, even though, like, you're not talking, because I can see both of you on camera. Okay, so let's try that again. Is the wind a problem? No, nah, I can tweak it. It's all right. Okay. All right. Ready and take two. Action. And I was like, okay, so this Nostradamus guy, Nuchu, Nietzsche, whatever his name was. Okay. They told this really weird thing, and like everybody started laughing. It was like, okay, what do? Allison, Allison, what are you doing? What does it look like? Okay. Um, like I said, this is a two shot, and I can see what you're doing, and smoking a cigarette is not really part of your character. So I'd appreciate it if you would stay in character and put the cigarette down. You can, okay, just smoke and we're done. Okay, let's try this again. action. And like, everybody started laughing and it was really weird. It was like, what do Nietzsche, Nuchu, or Nostradamus, or whatever, and God have in common? They are both dead. And like, I didn't get that. Oh, um, Alton, okay. Okay, A, the, the wig needs to be on and B, Okay, there's no sock puppets at all involved in this kid. And so I would appreciate it if you would not, if you, yeah, just here. Give me, give me sock give me, give me sock okay, let's do, put the wig back on. Put it on. Hurry up. Okay, ready? Take four. <sighs> Action. Oh my god! Allison is a bad actress. She is very unprofessional. I don't know. What the hell her. is this? You are so bad. I am not bad. Why do we work with do you, do you want to go get a hooker? Yeah, all right. Well, I will bring the fire to the <laughs> That's really weird because someone stole my pants this summer, too. Really? Yeah. How'd wow. that happen? Well, it... Oh, hey, Todd. Hey, Todd. How's it going? All right, um, guys, we need to come up with some skit ideas for the next show. I can't do everything myself. So, as you all... You all know we're now being nationally syndicated through the College Broadcast Network, so we're going to college college campuses all over the country, which means we're kind of going to have to we're going to we're kind of going to have to tone down some of the skits because not all colleges are as liberal per se as UT. <clears throat> so does anybody have any skits they want to throw out? I had this good idea about the Vienna Choir boys smoking crack after they sing. Yeah, actually, they've okay, just smoked okay. beforehand. We yeah. have them with like really crack big boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. yeah. okay, 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 okay. See, this is a good example because you see the Vienna Choir boys. I, ha I have no problem with that, but. I, I don't think crack is something that. There reminds me of another skit I had about crack, oh, where this that guy that was in a convenience store no, smoking no, no. crack no, and then he's in love with the. I'm mean, saying that crack is the thing we kind of want to avoid with a national audience and everything. Well, so, I don't think crack. I had a skit. It was sort of. Um, it was based around like healthcare. Uh huh. It was about this doctor and these group of people keep going to him over and over again. Uh huh. And then like it an turns out, yeah, he's he's smoking crack. So crack. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Maybe you guys didn't hear me. The, the aforementioned 
crack is not something... I've got one. Oh, oh, oh. There's this family of ducklings, right? And they're walking along, and all of a sudden they find this little, little bitty crack rock. <laughs> oh, oh, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Okay, so wait. Oh, okay. All right, but that has... So, would my skit about the crack horse? Yeah, okay. Would that See, I like be... that one. I like I the crack horse. I thought that was good. I mean, it was like really gender? a deep character. Does anybody, yeah, have, character. Does anybody have a skit character. that does not involve crack? Well, I've got a skit. It's It starts off with this family sitting on a beach. You know, you get this okay. nice shot of the horizon. You get some birds flying by. And it pans over them talking about their daughter. And it pans over to the daughter and she's making a sand castle. Only well, the castle's not made of sand. It's made of crack. Crack! Yeah. Big huge so castle good. crack. I was worried there for a minute. And then she, she brings right. out matches and they all start like huddling. Right, I am leaving. Why? I cannot work with you people. Well, where are you going? I am going smoke crack. Oh, I want crack, man. 